Hey you guys, it's Ty and welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made some chicken alfredo and homemade garlic slices. So if you're interested in that and want to see me cook more videos, make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram and my Twitter at Ty underscore bold. And let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so now that we're in my kitchen, I'm just going to briefly show you guys what you'll need. You can get all of these items from your grocery store. It does not matter. And you don't need the exact items as long as you have things that are similar or convenient for you. So first things first, you want to clean your chicken. And to clean your chicken, you're going to use salt, vinegar, and you're going to use lime or lemon. It is optional. You can use salt and vinegar if you have it. And you want to get a bowl or whatever you're placing your chicken in with some cool, warm water. Next, you're going to need your chicken. Once again, what type of chicken is preferably up to you. I use gloves when I cook my food and when I'm cleaning my food just for sanitary reasons. Next, you're going to need a small fork and a small spoon to stir things up and to taste your food. Now, when it comes to making the Alfredo sauce, you're going to need Parmesan cheese or you can use mozzarella or any kind. Afterwards, you're going to need some butter, you're going to need minced garlic, you're going to need heavy whipping cream, and you're going to need grated Parmesan. So once again, the type of cheese that you use for your Alfredo sauce is optional. This is what I have. The most important things are going to be the whipping cream and the Parmesan cheese. So when it comes to seasoning your chicken, you can use any kind. I have garlic powder, I have black pepper, I have oregano, onion powder, kicking chicken, lari seasoning salt. Once again, however you choose to season your chicken is going to be up to you all of these ingredients can be listed excuse me in the description down below so that's everything that you're going to need for your chicken to clean and what you're going to be seasoning with as well as your sauce so all of the ingredients are very simple and lastly you're going to need your noodles now i am going to be making a side of salad you can use any kind of salad lettuce that you need whatever toppings as well as homemade garlic um, slices and for the garlic slices all the ingredients are already included So after you scrub a dub dub in the tub and wash your hands, you're gonna start off by cleaning your chicken. So once again, you can use salt, vinegar, and you can use lime or lemon juice if you have those. If not, the most important thing is cool water, salt, and vinegar, or even just salt. It just depends on however you choose to use it and whatever form of salt works for you. But most importantly, clean off your chicken and let that cool off for 10 to 30 minutes. After that, you wanna remove any fat or any gunk that you do not want in your chicken. You will see in the next clip, I got rid of anything I needed.
It is preferred that you go ahead and preheat your stove by adding some oil or some cooking spray as well as getting a pot and boiling your water as you are seasoning your chicken and cleaning your chicken so therefore when it's time to cook you don't have to worry but if not you want to go ahead and get your pots and pans you want to get a pot and boil it with some water for your noodles and cook those for eight to ten minutes or however soft to your liking as well as your pan when it comes to cooking your chicken you want that to be preheated so therefore once you put your food into the pots and the pans they can start cooking and as you will see this is what it's going to look like i added a little bit of extra water because once you drain it your noodles will um, stay moist so as you guys can see next we're going to be making the homemade garlic slices this is optional you want to spray or add oil and you're going to need some minced garlic you're going to need butter pepper and a little bit of parsley flakes and you want to stir that up and i like to taste everything so you're going to see me use a toothpick to your liking when it comes to making the garlic slices so because we don't have actual pre prep garlic bread you can take whatever kind of bread that you have as you guys can see i'm using bread for a sandwich i have wheat bread stir that up into a small bowl or a measuring cup once again make sure you taste it add those ingredients and place it on front to back you can melt the butter or you can just put the butter on however and of course when you taste it before it is going to taste a little bit of um, garlicky but as you put it in the oven it is going to melt so you want to preheat your oven for 350 to 425 and flip it on both sides for maybe three to four minutes or however golden brown or crunchy you would like it to be. Okay, so once you put your garlic bread in the oven after your oven has been set for 350 to 425 or however long you need it for, it is time to make the alfredo sauce. So first things first, you're going to need some butter. You're going to put that into the same um, pot that you have for your noodles or you can use a separate one. I personally use a separate one and you want that to melt. You want to keep this on a low to medium heat. After you add your butter, you're going to add your whipping cream, your Parmesan cheese, and your grated cheese, and of course, any salt, pepper, or any seasonings. Now, in this clip, I don't know what I was thinking. I dumped all of the noodles at one time once I strained them from the drainer. You want to add the noodles separately, and you want to take your time. Do not do what I'm about to do in the next clip, or it will be a little bit harder for you to stir up. So you want to add a little bit of noodles and then stir it and you want your sauce to be like creamy because after you turn it off it is going to harden. So you guys will see in the next clip where I made the mistake but make sure you do a little bit at a time. Stir it around and then add more but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy.
So this is the final. The lighting is not the best. I had to re-microwave it. So this is what it's gonna look like. And this the lid. My lighting is not the best. I'm probably about to put the flash on, but it is a little bit cold because I try to wash the dishes. Um, so therefore I didn't have much to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's see. I had to put it back in the microwave because it got cold, but this is it. Salad, details, cheese, same dressing, details, details, get into it. Details, 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 details. Oh, 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 oh. All right, about to eat that.